I'm Stephanie, and this is Snow Dome of the Day. Whew, today's Snow Dome has quite the story. Um, you'll see that it's a jello dome. This is a very rare snow dome. It's special in that the makers of jello deny that it exists. It does exist. I mean, you're looking at it right now. Um, but if you contact the Jell-O marketing department to ask some questions about it, see if they have any extras for your collection because it's so hard to find, they're like, no, there is no Jell-O dome. There never has been. You're making it up. It's not even like they're saying, oh, someone made fake ones. No, they're just like, no, there is none. So, very difficult dome to find. This is our second Jell-O dome. The first Jell-O dome we encountered maybe 20 years ago. We might have been in the Carolinas. There's a reason I can't remember the details. Here's what you need to know. The sound of a snow dome hitting asphalt is a horrible, horrible noise. It's a a popping noise but it's a long long sound it's not a brief pop and it echoes and then when you look down and you know what made the sound there's all this water everywhere little bits of snow oh. you know I've long had a bad relationship with plastic bags they're bad for the environment we know this they flutter loose and land in trees where you can't reach them to get rid of them. They're horrible. And the handle situation is poor. I contend that if you have an item in a plastic bag, it is your responsibility as a holder of the bag to tie those handles together. Not just loosely, tie them in a knot so that if somebody tries to pick up the bag, it doesn't open and tip out the contents, say a valuable jello dome. Ooh. Anyway, in time we found a replacement of the dome that doesn't exist. Isn't that ironic? The dome that breaks is one that supposedly doesn't exist. Ugh. Here it is. I can't believe I'm being allowed to touch it. I thought this thing would be enshrined somewhere special, but no, it was just in a tub with other snow dumps its size. It tells you how far the collection's come, I guess. I need to put it down right now. Actually, you don't want to hear the sound. When I find the Corpus Christi bottle dome, we'll revisit a version of the story. That was the first one that ever hit asphalt. This has happened to me twice. <sighs> anyway, um... The point of the story is this. If you have something precious in a plastic bag, please tie the handles together, not once, but twice in a knot. Number one. Number two, don't ever drop a snow dome if you can avoid it, because the sound is horrible. And you need to trust me on this. Don't destroy a dome just to hear it. Just believe me. And three, uh, if you find a jello dome, keep it because someone will pay you at least $8.99 for it because they don't actually exist. Except in flea markets, probably in Charlotte, North Carolina. I guess the point is it works out, probably. Um, and while the sound might never leave your sound memories, other sounds will replace it in time. And in time you will find your peace. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I hope you enjoyed my misery and gave you a break from your own for just a little bit. Here. But God is with you, even when you break a jello dome. <laughs>